It, it is an adrenaline junkie's dream right here. Um, as everybody always says, firefighting, these are the guys that run in the building that's on fire while everybody else is running out. And to the seven men training to become Cole County volunteer firefighters, this all might just as well be real. Could be a million different things running through your mind. Is the floor going to give? Is it, the ceiling going to collapse in the next room? You know, is fire in the next room? You know, is there a, per, uh, a person right down the hallway that you got to find? You know, it's just a million things run through of scenarios and things that could happen. Saturday's training helped prepare Cardwell and six others for their eventual job fighting fires and saving lives. We learned, you know, to put how to put the fire out, what it's actually like to be in an actual fire. Uh, search and rescue, we searched, uh, we brought a dummy out and uh, on the roof up there we did uh, ventilation, which is we took and we cut part of the roof out so that we could let some of the smoke out through the roof. Many of the volunteers called today's exercise an enjoyable experience. But even though training can be a fun time to learn and get to know the people you'll be working with, there's a certain seriousness that goes along with it. This time, the furniture is fake. But next time, this could actually be someone's living room. Cardwell says that's why he signed up. It's our people. It's where we're from. It's who we love. And they, they, I hope they love us as much as we love them. And, we do anything for them. It's that attitude that just might save someone's life one day. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Jefferson City.